Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me if we have this tool in Corel that they have in Lightroom. And I don't really know how to pronounce what they're calling in Lightroom, but we, yes, we do. So I just, you know, I, I didn't do a very good job on picking fonts. Normally you would have a cursive font and uh, just kind of playing around with it. But I'm going to go to, I'm going to control K and break this together or break them apart. And then I'm going to go to object and convert this to a curve. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go and convert this to a curve so it's not a text anymore. And I've got these broken apart. So I'm going to use a hairline to uh, nudge them kind of together. So let me zoom in here a little bit. Because I want them connected for what I'm going to do. And you're going to see uh, what I'm going to do in just a minute. This would be for if you were going to make, and I'm just using the nudge factor in my uh, left and right arrow keys. The E kind of looks funny when you get it that butted up close, but, and you could, well, let's just do that. You could actually, because it is a curve, you could just take these nodes and just hold down your control button and move it over. So the E's wouldn't be so close together. Then just take the N and bring it into the, in the same thing here. We'll go ahead and do that, make it look a little better. But what this tool did that they were asking me about is a uh, a tool that's going to kind of, so you could cut each each part out, and you'll see in just a second. Now I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go up the weld. I'm going to weld it so now that it's one piece. And I'm actually going to do it in wireframe. Well, I'm going to color that in so we can actually see what it's doing. And then I'm going to place my G, and you want it, you know, you'd want to use a cursor, but you'd want to be able to read the rest of the, the rest of the letters. So my thing is 20 inches. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 22. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of this guy and move it over. I don't know what's going on there. I must have nudged or something. Control D and move it over. Then I'm going to take all this and go right here to back minus front. And I don't like the, I don't like that little thin piece of wood right there. And you'll see in just a second what I'm doing. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to change my nudge factor to something less 0 0.02. I'm going to nudge it over just a little bit. Got to select on it. I don't want that piece of wood. And I don't want these two little pieces of wood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my G a little smaller, a little bit bigger. Because I don't want any slivers of wood, and that doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to change my nudge factor back to that 22 inches. Control D and make a duplicate of that guy. And then I'm going to go back minus front. And what that did, so I still got a little nub there. Left click, right click. You could cut that out in the individual pieces of wood. And then you could cut this out in a different colored wood or paint the wood and then bring that back and, and glue them all together. This would be a pretty easy glue joint because that is going to fit right in the G and the G, you know, the, so the, the R and that part of the G will be one part. That'll be one part. That'll be one part and that'll be one part. So you've got like five parts of wood. And if you made one of them all the same, you know, if you made the green word itself, um, uh, one piece of wood and I might even make a video later today about how you could do that and how you could even place them in there. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.